Today, I'm going to show you how to remove a very tough terminal of the battery and uh, how to change the battery. I have a new battery. I got this from Costco and I got the nuts and bolts for the terminals. See, this is really bad. We rusted, rusted and very tough to get it off. This is the DW40. I soak a little bit. The very important thing is the first decision, which of the terminal you need to remove first. Some car has a cap to protect one terminal. That cap is the most important you need to protect. But here's the older car, you do not have a cap. So you need to measure the voltage. So I'm trying to see which of the terminal is connect to the ground, which is the body. This is a 12 volt. I'm expecting a 12 volt. This is a bare metal. A bare metal i'm touching first one is this terminal really doesn't have much has only a few millivolts and uh, i'm touching this one now i see a little bit more than 12 volts so this one is not connect to the body but this one it is connect to the body so i'm going to remove this first because if you use a, a metal like this and you touch somewhere you may create a short this one connect to the ground, it's okay, but you can never touch this and another metal of the body that will create a short, that's a hazard. So I'm going to remove this first. This is a very tough one. I'm trying to use the 11 millimeter wrench to, to try it, but it will not go in because now it's already rounded. I'm trying to use the hammer. It won't do it. I will just use this uh, this tool, but make sure when you turn it, you never touch to the other terminal. If I break this, I have to buy the whole stuff and cut this wire, but I'm trying not to break this. Yeah, I think it's moving, but I need to make sure this doesn't uh, touch the other terminal. I bought this uh, bolt. It's a... Uh, it's 12 millimeter. It's a little bit different than the other one, but it should fit. This is only less than $3. I bought uh, from O'Reilly. I will try to, my goodness, it's very tough. So this can be taken out. So once I take it out, you think if I touch this it will be a spark or not? Sometimes if the light is on, you can see a spark. See, do you see a spark? See, so that means there's still voltage between this. This is okay because there, there's a load. Go through this wire, will go through that load, will come back to this wire. And that's why if you measure here and here now, you should expect the 12 volts. So I'm going to measure this one and this one and you see it's 12 volts 12 volts it's okay but it's still safe that's why you remove this there you see a spark but that's a normal current the amount of current is just the normal go through the light still remain how do we take this out it will take some time and very hard hammering i see it's really coming out once you are able to get a little bit space and try to rotate this side and this will See, this really need a replacement. It's really damaged. Now I'll do the other one. Yeah, this one is easier. And make sure it doesn't touch any other part. Okay, so you came out. Going to do the same thing. Yeah, this is easier. Okay, so it's 13. Can you get hurt taking these bolts off by touching metal to other metal? The bolts that we're taking off now are just to hold the battery into place. Uh, okay. They aren't conducting electricity. Okay. Okay, so this is a one bolt. You just take this out. Okay, so before we put it in, we should uh, clean this. I have a sandpaper to clean inside of the terminal because uh, it was really dirty. I use uh, sandpaper inside, I just scoop it. Make sure the new battery has the correct side. 
if you flip will be on the other side this will not be the correct way so you have to remember the old way is the positive on this side and negative on this side so you need to take this off so this is just a plastic let's just take off one plastic and install one yeah and then you put this uh, this back so the reverse way you need to put the positive back first We have to make a bigger hole because this is a little bit bigger. So I just use screwdriver to make it a little bit bigger. This is a little bit uh, bigger than the hole, the bolt. So you need to either use a drill to drill a little bit bigger or use screwdriver to bore it. It's really easy because the lead is really, really soft. That's on the two side. This a little bit ridge, it's inside. So you need to push this in. So once this is in, you can just tighten this and this will go in like this. Make sure it's tightened. And then you do the same thing for the second one and put this back and that's all you need to do. Okay, so let's answer a couple basic concerns here. Uh -huh. Can you describe overall what are the safety concerns of changing a car battery? You have to wear Goggle, wear glove, safety glove. That's your personal protective equipment. Yeah. But why? Like what, what could be dangerous here? Yeah, because there's a really a very strong acid in there. If the acid spilled, you burn yourself. The second is it could be a spark somewhere and the spark could be hazard. Okay, and how do you avoid these? You have to disconnect in the right odor so you don't have a short circuit because this is really a strong battery, a 12 volts, but many, many amps. And if it's short, it's going to generate heat. It may cause fire. Okay, cool.